Okay, today we're going to be talking about the Income Related Monthly Adjustment Amount, or IRMA, for the Medicare Part B and D premiums. So, you can see here, this is 2022, the IRMA guidelines. So these are the income guidelines. So if you're over, if you file a joint tax return and you're over 182000 uh, you're going to pay a surcharge for your Part B premium. There's also a surcharge for the Part D premium. As you can see here, it's an extra 12 bucks if you fall into this bracket if you're filing a joint tax return or this bracket if you're filing an individual tax return. And you can see the surcharge amounts go, um, it's all the way up to about 750 of uh, income for a joint tax return and 500 for an individual. So if you're not taking Social Security, when you get your Medicare Part B bill, it's going to, it, well, if you're not taking Social Security, it's going to be a three-month bill, at least, um, depending on when you sign up. And it's going to have these higher amounts based on your bracket, right? And it's also going to include the Part B IRMA and the Part D IRMA in that one bill. It will break it down, but it will give you a total as well. Okay, now you pay this surcharge because of your income two years prior to enrolling in Medicare. So for example, if somebody enrolls in Medicare in 2022, they're gonna pay a surcharge based on their 2020 income if applicable. And then in 2023, it would be 2021 and so forth. So a lot of times people say, well, that's what I was making, but that's not what I am making now. So what can I do? So it's a great question. And we're going to bring on an expert to tell you exactly how you can appeal the surcharge. All right. So thanks for having me. I'm here to talk about the appeal for the income re related monthly adjustment amount. So there is a standard appeal form which is available on ssa.gov. Okay. Now, this this form, it's uh it's it's pretty simple actually to fill out if you've had what's called a life-changing event in the year that they're measuring your income off of or after. So if the example that we're looking at is somebody signing up in 2022, if they had a life-changing event in 2020 or 2021, they could use the uh, applicable event by checking one of these boxes. So let's say it's a reduction, a work reduction, right? Then in step two, you're going to put the reduction in income, you know, in the amount. So for example, you'd put the tax year. So if somebody just filed their 2021 tax return, you'd put that here. You put there you put your AGI here um, and then this tax exempt, exempt interest it tells you what line that's on they actually go off a formula called modified adjusted gross income right which is just they're adding back certain forms of non-taxable income into that formula all right so that's step two and you will need you know proof like a 1040 page from a tax return now this step three Sometimes this is not always applicable. It may be skipped, but let's say, for example, the person that is providing this proof, that that would knock them down into a lower bracket of still paying a higher uh, amount than the standard rate of 170. So this step three would be, well, okay, my 2021 income is still high, but not as high as my 2020 income, but I think it's gonna go down again in the future. So this information that goes into step three would essentially be appealing the surcharge for the next year, 2023. So they kind of let you do both at one time. Now, if the step two, if the reduction in income that you're going to send in is going to bring you back to the standard rate of 170.10, you don't really have to fill in step three. You can skip that part. Okay, and then step four, the documentation. So, you know, evidence, you can mail in original, original documents. I've had people tell me they've mailed in uh, like a COBRA letter saying that they're no longer employed there and then a brief explanation of what that would do to their income. 
a 1040 page, which is probably the most uh, bulletproof um, documentation that you can provide because it actually shows you know what your M, your, your modified adjusted gross income is. And then you'd, you'd provide your signature and you can simply uh, either mail or fax that in to Social Security. So that was a quick overview of why you have to pay an income related monthly adjustment amount if you do and ways of appealing it. So what it helps us out tremendously is if you guys can hit the subscribe button. That way other people in the same situation uh, can get help as well. And also if you can hit that like button, that helps uh, us get the word out there. Thanks.